I posted a short of this little speed boost crossover glitch and a lot of people were asking me how to do it so in this video I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do this speed boost crossover move and then I'm also going to show you guys another combo that you can use to get open for threes now I got the speed boost glitch crossover move from the homie hizzy 2 k his link will be in the description down below so shout out to him I got the hand cam on deck for y'all boys, so I'm gonna show you guys these moves and you're gonna be able to get it down extremely easy. Also check out my whole dribble tutorial playlist. Link to that will be in the description down below. I have so many different tutorials that you guys can use if you wanna get better and just go crazy on the ISO in general. So let's get right into it. A lot of people are asking me for my drill moves. I wanna make an updated video on that at some point. But these are all the drill moves that I've been using. Now, um, a lot of people are asking me for my hop jumper, it's Pro 2. But what you're gonna need for these combos is you're gonna need moving crossover John Wall, which is this right here. And then you're also gonna need a uh, moving hesitation Larry Bird, which gives you this little step back animation. And then you also need moving behind the bat Scotty Pippen. But you can put all my mo drill moves on if you would like because they are the best in my opinion. So yeah man, drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, join the ISO gang, and let's get right into it. Okay, so look man, this is how you do the speed boost crossover glitch move, and it's extremely good to get open for threes. Most people don't expect you to do this, and what makes this move so good is the John Wall, is the John Wall crossover, because that animation basically explodes you and most people don't expect it. I begin open through I begin a lot of open threes with my two-way slash and playmaker with this move and I have a 65 three ball. This move will work will work with any build that can shoot. So let's get right into it. So to start this move off, the ball is gonna be in our left hand. We're gonna do a fast back by flicking up on the right stick and flicking down on the left stick. After that, the ball is going to be in our right hand. You then want to hold the left stick towards 10 o'clock for this crossover move. Make sure you do not hold turbo at this point. This little crossover crossover move that you're seeing before the actual John Wall crossover is coming out of your left stick. And this move allows you to do any moving move out of it. So yeah, man. Um, after you do the little crossover with your left stick, you then want to hold turbo Flick up on the right stick for the John Wall crossover, and then you want to hold the left stick in the direction that you want to go, and it's as simple as that. The move is extremely easy to do, you just gotta get the timing down, and yeah man, this move is a straight kill if you go in for threes on the ISO, because the John Wall crossover out of the left stick movement will just burst you in the direction that you want to go and it will also catch ankles too so yeah man this move is a straight kill so for this next combo we're going to start it off basically the same way except this time we're going to do a moving behind the back and this is basically how we can sideways dribble on nba 2k22 this isn't really a speed boost glitch move but it's still a really good move to catch ankles and get open for three so let's get into it like i said we're gonna start this combo combo off the same exact way the ball is going to be in our left hand we want to do a fast back by flicking up on the right stick and flicking down on the left stick the ball is then going to be in our right hand you want to hold the left stick towards 10 o'clock for that crossover move and like i said this little crossover move after the fast back is done with your left stick and this move allows us allows us to do any moving move out of it the ball is going to be in our left hand you want to hold turbo and flick the right stick towards five o'clock to activate the moving behind the back and you also want to hold the left stick in the direction that you want to go in this case you want to hold the 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 left stick to the right to get your player sideways so you want to make sure you come in at an angle and while you're doing the moving behind the back you then want to flick the right stick directly to the right and that will activate the larry bird step back and out of this move you can shoot out of it or whatever the case may be a lot of times you can even catch ankles out of the moving behind the back as well so yeah man let me know if you guys have any questions i try to explain the best that i can with the hand cam and the notes just get into my court practice your timing and you'll be out here looking like a straight iso demon it's been your boy jr check out my whole dribble tutorial playlist we out peace